Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, February 1st, and this is the next to last, not the last, the next to last RVNN Live at 5. Doesn't mean it's going away, it's changing time. We've got details coming up. This is RVNN Live brought to you in part by GoToMeeting and Pet Hub. Today's program brought to you by Pet Hub. Protect your pet for pennies a day with critical contact, medical, and dietary information on a smartphone scannable ID tag. And by GoToMeeting, affordable online meetings that work so you can do more and travel less. Hey everyone, it's Courtney Wallen here at RVNN TV. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. And I'm joined by Andy McCaskey. Yeah, and you know, live at noon just doesn't, it doesn't have that ring. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what are we going to do? What's well, I think our... I think we're just going to change it to RVNN Live and uh, <laughs> handle, it, handle, handle it that way. Uh, as you have probably figured out, we are getting ready to, to change next Monday, this coming Monday, February 6th. We will begin uh, to air uh, live on the East Coast at uh, 12 noon uh, Eastern time. And then we'll repeat that for your lunchtime viewing pleasure, as, uh, as they say. So uh, anyway, stay tuned uh, for that, but make sure you check us out here, uh, not only today, but also on Friday of, uh, of this week. So uh, anyway, that's what's going on. What's happening on your side of the studio there? On my side of the studio, I, I guess I'll do my 30 seconds before we go ahead and show a segment here. Um, today we are going to be showing uh, an interview from CES 2012. Of course, Andy and I were there with the Tech Podcast Network. And uh, we've picked a couple segments to show you uh, throughout the past few weeks that we think that uh, you as our viewers would enjoy or you guys would, would yeah, get find, some value. Find useful. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of our shows, uh, Gadgetplex, uh, focuses on the active RVer and camper, particularly full-timers, and uh, taking a look at, at all of the consumer electronics gadgets and services that are, uh, are available. And uh, this is kind of an extension of it. Phil May, who's the host of Gadgetplex, uh, he had a scheduling conflict and was not able to join us. Originally, he was going to be a part of the Tech Podcast team, but it turned out that CES this year got shifted by one week, and that was right on top of the Tampa uh, RV show. So uh, he went to Tampa, we went to uh, Las Vegas, but uh, we came across some pretty uh, some pretty interesting uh, things. So yes. did you get through your thirty seconds? I no, didn't hear, no, I no. Didn't I think hear someone those. took my my took spotlight. Your time. That's right. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, I'll start over, but not really. Uh, just a reminder that we are now on Roku, so be sure to go into that channel store, find RVNN, and subscribe to it. Of course, we are now on uh, Google Plus, and just like I, we said, a reminder that live is now switching to noon, starting on Monday the sixth. Uh, happy, of course, to announce our new sponsor for RV Capital Talk. Uh, we'll probably continue to say we're happy about this for a long time, but this is uh, Dicor Court. Be sure to check them out. And of course, tomorrow is Groundhog Day, which uh, oh. will determine a lot. It will determine a lot. And you know, that kind of relates to CES video <laughs> interview postings. It does feel like yes. Groundhog Day as you oh come in each gosh. day and there's even Same more, thing. <laughs> over even and more over of them that have come again. through. But yeah. we had a lot of fun there and I think a lot of good material that, uh, that, that folks are going to, uh, going to enjoy. Groundhog Day, we'll find out. <laughs> We'll find Does, out tomorrow. Is that going to deter determine if our posting is done sooner than later? Or uh, <laughs> I don't know. Or if it's like the movie where we just can't come in and we get to re repost <laughs> it each, it, yeah. uh, each, each day. Yes. Hey, we'll take a quick look at the uh, RV headlines. A lot of kind of industry stuff that's going on here at the moment. And um, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll probably not be covering that other than to note that uh, the uh, company Frontier Communications has given a uh, $10,000 donation to the RV manufactured housing, the RVMH Hall of Fame uh, here in Elkhart, uh, Indiana. Of course, uh, Frontier has uh, uh, telecommunications facilities all over the uh, all over the country. They provide high-speed internet and uh, phone service, and also telephone, also television uh, service, regular uh, uh, television. Uh, that uh, comes to you through the DISH uh, network. Um, as they made the donation, CEO of uh, Frontier, uh, Maggie Wildrotter, 
uh, presented the check officially and talks about uh, that uh, the museum's a really big part of uh, Elkhart history because uh, it's the history of RVs and it also gives you some ideas where the RV industry and where RVs are headed. And the museum is reporting that on a cash flow basis, they're actually in uh, much better shape than they've been in a couple of years. Still have a large debt uh, that uh, came from the original founding of, of the museum, uh, but it looks like there may be some progress there as well. Now I realize I just stepped on the segment that you were about to run, but you know those sorts oh, of things. Oh, it's okay. Those things happen sometimes. Of course, our um, uh, news coverage uh, part of uh, our relationship with folks at RVBusiness.com, and uh, so for complete details, um, of course they host the show RV Capital Talk uh, with us. But for c complete details on the business, make sure that you check out uh, RVBusiness. Uh, dot com on a regular, uh, probably a daily basis would be a good idea. <laughs> Absolutely. They've always got good stuff going up. And that was a good story, some positive news. It was, which yeah. Which is always a good thing. And, uh, yeah, we're going to show a segment here from CES. And this is something, uh, an app that I picked probably about two weeks ago for my travel app. A and a big part had to do with me discovering it at CES. It was actually just launched at CES, oh, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think so. And of course, we've got a celebrity interviewer uh, that, yeah. that, that's featured <laughs> uh, on this segment. I don't know about segment. that one. So uh, we'll roll this minus the celebrity interviewer, interviewer. We'll let you be the judge of that. Now I'm all messed up here. All right, here it goes. <laughs> Roams, we've got a great new app. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, look, Roams is an app that intelligently curates the world around you. So you find out what's going on from Twitter and Facebook and Foursquare and Instagram, and we show you the things that matter so you never miss out. Great. Well, let's let's just do the let's demo, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So you know, we're at the MGM Grand. Um, that's a photo that was taken a couple of hours ago from Foursquare. So it's showing it to me, um, and it's showing me all the things that I ne wouldn't necessarily find because I'm not following these people on Instagram or Twitter, but I'm here now. I'm interested in things going on nearby. And the only way that I can find out about that is with a, you know, an app that looks through the hundreds of millions of posts and works out what's relevant in real time. Yeah, I wonder how many of my Instagram posts have shown up this week in Vegas because I've taken so very many. Look, I've only just arrived, but had I been you know, hanging out at all the same places as you, I, I would have seen them. And they probably weren't any good pictures, <laughs> are Oh, I'm sure that's not true. But look, I was in Disneyland on the weekend and with my three-year-old, and I was using Roams, and I was seeing tweets from Pirates of the Caribbean, Instagram photos from, you know, the, the roller coaster, um, photos of Mickey taken on Facebook, photos from Roams, and I was working out where to go in real time based on the activity in the park, and I'm not friends, or I wasn't following any of those people, but I was interested. Absolutely, and you don't want to follow all these people. You just want to follow your friends, and not that they're not interesting, that's not the point, but you just don't, you don't want all that well, clutter. you can't, there's 200 million uh, Twitter 200 million tweets a day like how do you get to the the content that's really interesting at the time that it's interesting to you and I, that's the problem we're trying to solve getting the signals from the noise and helping people sort of stumble across the events the activities and the places that matter at the time that they matter great well we're going to talk about how to find this app and we're, we're going to uh, take a quick look at one of our sponsors you know right in the middle of the consumer electronics show here in las vegas I would be able to have full control of my workstation back in the office, even though it's thousands of miles away. How can I do that? I can do that through an application called Go to My PC. It's a new iPhone app, and as we learned at CES, it's also available for Android. What you're able to do is to take control of your PC remotely, whether it be PC or Mac, and make adjustments just as if you were sitting there. You can go in and tweak an Excel sheet. You can make a change to a PowerPoint. You can edit a word, a, uh, a file from Microsoft Word. A tremendous capability that you can try free for 45 days. Just go to gotomypc.com and look for the Try It Free button and then make sure that you use the code PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Go to my PC wherever you are. All right, Jonathan, I'm interested. I want this app. How much does it cost? It's free. That's the I best love it. part. Uh, you can get it from the iPhone App Store. Um, the version that's currently in the App Store um, is our launch version. The version that you've seen here is uh, the version 2.0, which is going to come shortly. Um, it's suggesting for us to go get some waffles. Is, are we allowed to go get waffles, Courtney? 
I think if I say so, we can go get waffles. What do you like on your waffles? Well, this person's recommending whipped cream and, and sugar. So, like, if that's what Rome says, that's what Rome says. All right, that's what Rome says. Download the free app. Uh, Jonathan and I are going to go grab some waffles. This is Courtney Wallen with the Tech Podcast Network. This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. All right, and of course, uh, we did go grab waffles. <laughs> and while you were grabbing waffles, I went and you grabbed the app. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, it's it's the one right above my music uh, there. There you and go. So let's uh, let's let's fire this. You know, thing I up. can't tell you how excited That's I am. There it, it is. There I it uh, is. I think I've explained my dilemma is that a lot of these apps I have not been downloading, and I feel like such a hypocrite. But it's because my software. I'm getting a new phone on Wednesday. A week oh, from today, okay. I get my 4S, and I'm just waiting to download all these apps because my phone, let's face it, it's a 3GS, and it's it's seen better days, and I just haven't upgraded the it's software so, on it. And so 2010. It's so 2010. So, yeah, <laughs> it really is. So I will be getting my 4S next Wednesday, so I will be downloading it. Are you, You've got it up now? Uh, I actually, I need to I get my Facebook credentials logged in oh, gotcha. and, uh, and so forth. Well, you can either log in through Facebook, through your Facebook account, or you can join Rome's directly. So I'm uh, not, not sure which one I'll do. Now, if you, if you, um, your understanding was if I log in through Facebook, it then pulls in the Instagrams mm -hmm. of people in this particular area where uh -huh. I am. So yep. it senses where you are mm -hmm. and then... But they don't have to be my friends, though, right? Right. They don't have to be your friends. Ah. And like you said, 200 million tweets a day. You're not, you can't. You, there's, that's just crazy. You can't possibly, <laughs> even with hashtagging, you can't possibly uh, follow keep that. up with yeah, that. to keep up. So that looks like it would be very, very interesting if you are in a, uh, an area that your family has not been to before. And, of course, you're kind of prepared from the logbook uh, or logbook from the uh, from the tour guide, you know, I know that you've done your research uh, online as far as figuring out how to maximize that family vacation. But you know, serendipity is one of the big uh, attractions of travel. Uh, you know, you kind of plan to, to go to this particular place and there may be something really cool just uh, uh, right around the corner from you. Mm -hmm. And that's what Rome's enables you to discover. I think that's uh, definitely a good uh, good app that you found there. Absolutely. And you're getting real-time information uh, uh, from people that you don't know, but you probably trust the most. People that are actually experiencing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's, that's and what you it, It's just a little more... Uh, uh, of an idea of what's going on around uh, in your environment as you explore things. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, talking about exploring environments, yes. I was talking with uh, uh, with uh, Chris and Tawny here today, uh, yeah. Captain and Clark, and uh, those are, are two young folks that are just, they're all about the exploration. Yes. Wherever they get planted, they're just... Uh, the, the, the joy they have of going around and exploring and finding things is, is really, really great to see. And I, I loved your comment to them. You said, so, so you don't go to the Waffle Houses. <laughs> and Chris responded, if it's a haunted Waffle House, we'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. So uh, you probably don't have a link to a haunted Waffle House. No, I today, don't. But uh, what kind of links uh, do you have? And do we need to talk about uh, something before we go there? Yeah, I, maybe we should break it up a little. We'll go ahead and talk about uh, Pet Hub. And, of course, uh, as you've listened to, oh, wow, I put that up a little too fast, a little quick today, a little slow or quick. Uh, we've got Pet Hub. We've got a discount for you if you go to PetHub.com and put in RVNN20. And you want to do this because <laughs> this is an awesome little feature here. This is a dog tag for your – it doesn't have to be for your dog. It's a, it's a tag for your for pet. Your pet. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can use it uh, as you ferrets. Could be ferrets, yeah, whatever you like. Ferrets, you can be cats, creative with yeah. that, but it is a QR code uh, right here on there. And what you do is you load all your pet's information. If they happen to run away, uh, this good Samaritan can go ahead and uh, click on this, you know, t with their smartphone, capture these, this QR code, and uh, up pops all the pet's information. And the great thing about it is you can update this information whenever you want. If you move, you just hop on to PetHub.com, change the information, and it's automatically updated and there's an option for medical insurance this is what we really like about it if your pet happens to become injured while it's uh, on its journey adventure mm -hmm. away from home uh, that good samaritan that picks up your pet will find out that information when they scan the qr code then they have the option to use that insurance to get medical assistance for that pet you know a lot of people we say you know if i found a pet and it was hurt 
I don't know if I could. You, you don't know what that medical bill is going to be. You right, don't know what right. that's going to entail. You don't it's take that, uh, take that's that a risk. Yeah. And of course, you know, there there are other technologies. Uh, our pet actually has has a chip in it. But what we found, that was some number of years ago, and it turns out that there's three different competing systems, and it's not standardized from one to the other, and so you don't know if that shelter or if that veterinarian has a scanner that'll work with that particular tag. And then the other thing is, since you don't have control of the database, the data that's in, the information that's in there, it could easily point to an apartment where you were living, say, four years ago, mm -hmm. and, and now, you know, you've gone, you know, two addresses and three phone numbers past that point. And that's one of the cool things about Pet Hub is that you can update that information and, and reveal as much or as little as you as you feel comfortable uh, with, you know, given given that situation. Absolutely. So, so go ahead, uh, pethub.com, and when you go to order, put in RVNN20 to receive 20% off. Uh, now on to our social media picks for today. Uh, this first one, I actually thought, ooh, this will be my travel app for the day, and it was kind of tomfoolery, uh, but it also very clever, and this is uh, the best kids travel app, and it isn't an app, it's an I would. Uh, have you seen this? And I would. No, I have this not is, seen it. This is this uh, is from outsideonline.com. Okay. This is. I've got it up here on IVGA, uh, pretty much full screen. I think okay. if you can switch over, if it will cooperate. There you go. Yes. All right. So this uh, <laughs> looks like a slate. Yeah, and the thing is, is, this all was inspired because this uh, guy got an iPad for Christmas, and he was trying to figure out how to keep his daughters off of it. Uh huh. <laughs> Which I don't know if this is the solution, but it sure is fun, and I can I can see this being useful on a road trip. And it's got a little bit different design that's uh, not so chalkboardy, uh, but it does look like mom and dad's MacBook or you know yeah, laptop. It, so it, it does, and so. Uh, the kid can draw in the um, the, the keyboard, yep, and or the parent could could kind of sketch in the keyboard with special keys. Uh, you know, the, the the cool thing is, you know what this could convert into? What? If you had a uh, say a four or five year old in the back seat, this could convert into a spaceship controller. Oh because yeah! Because <laughs> you could draw different buttons on the uh, on the surface there. If you go back to back to that, you, you could draw. Uh, you know, your warp speed controls and your phasers and just all the things that you need to run your spaceship, you could uh, go ahead and draw in there uh, as well. So We'll have to talk with these folks, see if we can get in touch with them and kind of kind of see what uh, what they can tell us about the uh, history of yeah. that, that product. Yeah, I think cool. it's, r it's really cool. It, it, the price is a little steep, I think, um, but it might be valuable to you. It's $53, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but it, just because of the high demand, it won't be available until February, which, oh, it's February first so check it out uh, we'll have uh, all the information on that uh, in the show notes for okay. today's or, show or if you were a grandpa that had some uh, woodworking skills yes uh, there that you might go be an idea that uh, kids would would think would be really cool absolutely what else have you found here all right the next one I have here is something I retweeted from uh, as we travel if you have not uh, seen their blog they've got a really great blog and actually today is their two-year anniversary of anniversary of blogging and oh. uh, the, the reason I brought this up is because they've shared with us uh, five things that they've learned or learned mm -hmm. <laughs> because they're from overseas they've from learned Brit they're British yeah they're the British, British. Uh, that they've learned from travel and travel blogging obviously they, they're, they've been very very successful so I thought that we have so many people out there that are either a travel bloggers or who inspire to be travel bloggers, uh, that this might come in handy. And Andy, I've got your IVG up, okay. IVGA up here. Um, so this first first one here is limit your daily time online. And they said at first uh, when they started blogging, it was almost like they were addicted to finding you know, Wi-Fi wherever they were at. And they mm -hmm. said, you've got to limit that. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is uh, learn how to separate travel and travel blogging. It, it's still work and play. You've got to put some kind of separation in that. Otherwise... Uh, they probably wouldn't be having as much fun because they're going to be on an agenda. 
Mm -hmm. uh, ask and you shall receive. Uh, this is, says, don't be afraid to ask for a free hotel stay or for, for whatever it may be that you need. And uh, just go ahead and ask and you might, you might be surprised what you get. Uh, pace yourself and don't try to do everything. I think this is a lesson that uh, whether you're blogging or not, you need to take, uh, we need to take maybe around here. And uh, number five, I really like this. What others think of your blog is none of your business. Don't pay attention to what other people are saying uh, negative mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. you know what? That's their prerogative, and uh, you just have to keep on doing what you love to do and uh, hope that you're doing good work. So As We Travel, uh, you can find them on Twitter at As We Travel or As We Travel .com. And I uh, just said that was really good, so wanted to share that today. Yeah, and, and indeed, it, and it looks like they are uh, having a good deal of fun. I, oh, yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> if you got the last frame up there, but it looks like uh, she, she's... Uh, yeah. Uh, this looks very familiar, and you know why? Why? Because that is a fabric store. <laughs> and You're I familiar with that, huh? Fabric store. Yes. So uh, that's that's how come I recognize the, uh, <laughs> the terrain. There you go. Andy <laughs> frequents <laughs> fabric stores. Uh, Random no, fact. I, no. I don't, actually, I, I frequent usually the benches outside <laughs> usually, but uh, you know, I, I yeah, <laughs> it happens. We'll let we'll my wife loves the fabric store. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, his wife loves the fabric store. So uh, what else we got? The this next one is. Um, Let's see here. Are we going to stay on your IBGA? Or do you uh, want me to can. bring mine up? Yeah, and we'll work better okay. if I, uh, actually get to the page. <laughs> this is from Rand McNally. This is six sunny spots for a Valentine's Day getaway. And you know what? For the person who has everything, why not hop in your RV and and go to a great little spot? So uh, some of these are bed and breakfast, but uh, maybe your RV would help you get there and enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, they've got Coral Gables, Florida, Seabreeze Manor, bed and breakfast. Uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Marco Island, yes. Now that's a beautiful, beautiful area there. Uh, yeah, as Rock, Asheville. Yeah. Yes, and uh, a romantic Virginia road trip. Oh, let's see where they. Okay. I was going to say you'd be the judge National of that. Wildlife uh, uh, refuge, and uh, let's see. Uh, I'll, I can open that. I can open that tab later. I yes. bet you there's some great uh, Virginia <laughs> attractions uh, there as well. Thank also in Texas. Yes, Crystal River Inn bed and breakfast, and then number six is a California wine road trip, wine country road trip. I'll take that one. Well, yes, indeed. That's <laughs> a, that's a beautiful area of the country. You can go to Napa, and then you can head on over to the uh, to the coast, come down through uh, Sonoma County, and that is uh, is a great great uh, uh, road trip uh, road trip as well. I think so, and uh, that's all I have today as far as social media goes but i'd love to hear back from you so uh please email me cw at rvnn.tv and of course you can find me on twitter at cordy pants because today i'm wearing my rv pants that's what we're trying to get that little exactly. tagline exactly. Um, and you can circle me on google plus so yeah, i have to go back here uh, if you can bring this up i have to give a have to give a plug um the uh I followed the link to uh, Best of uh, Virginia, and, uh, and of course there are you know, Leesburg, to to Fredericksburg, up in the Washington, D.C. area. But, but uh, what I right. had to uh, give a plug to what's very close to my hometown in uh, Virginia, oh. uh, in Stanton, Virginia, right in the middle of the uh, Shenandoah Valley, and there's uh, a view of the downtown uh, streets uh, there. Uh, kind of an interesting uh, area, uh, a lot of uh, uh, Victorian era and also mm -hmm. some colonial era, uh, era uh, buildings as well. And just uh, right in the middle of the Shenandoah Valley and uh, great, a lot of great restaurants and stuff too. I think I need to take a trip to Virginia and I, I need you and your wife to plan it for me. We'll do that. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get that, uh, we'll put that on the agenda. Th there you go. Not to be agenda. a pest, but I need you to plan my trip. <laughs> uh, next up, the travel app of the day. Now, uh, I actually picked this app prior to picking our our CES video of the right, day. Right. And these are two, uh, this app is similar to Rome's. And if you've used it before, it's called Trippy. And uh, this app it hooks up with your Facebook, and let's say I want to go to, is it Stanton, Virginia? Mm -hmm. And I want to go to Stanton, Virginia, and I, and, I, and I put in Stanton, Virginia, and then it pulls up all my Facebook friends who have ranted at some point in time about Stanton, Virginia. Ah. So I'm getting input from my friends. So this is a little bit more personal. It's pulling from my personal feed, whereas Rome's is just pulling from the particular <laughs> place Rome. that you're at. So they're not so similar. Uh -huh. uh, so this will help you if you are a trip planner, if you are a planner, this is the uh, app for you. So I'm going to go ahead and roll a short video. 
Okay. I've been wanting to plan a trip to Beachtown since my friend Katie went and won't shut up about how great it is. But here's what happens when I research Beachtown on the travel sites. Hundreds of hotel links and reviews and I still know basically nothing about Beachtown because I don't know who to listen to. So here's what I do instead. I go to Trippy and I start a new trip. I say where I'm going and what I'm looking for and Trippy ties into my Facebook and other places to find my friends who can help. Oh look, Donnie went to school in Beachtown, and Mikey just checked in there last week. And of course, I know how much Katie loves Beachtown. Hey, all right. Sweetie, what was the name of that beautiful resort we stayed at? Sea... Seashells. Seashells. Donnie says I should stay at Seashells, and some of my other friends seem to agree. So I click Add to Trip, and I can book it right from Trippy. Ooh, luxurious. I can't wait to stay there. Oh, and I know how you love shrimp tacos. You have to go to Sandy's. Um, yes, please. Oh, that is amazing. When I'm on my trip, I can use the Trippy app to capture it all in my album and share it with the people that made my trip great. Hey, all right. This trip is shaping up to be incredible. And if any of my friends are dreaming of a trip like this, it's really easy to copy it for themselves. Oh, and you can't leave without taking your picture at Cappy's Bluff. It's sort of a tradition. Okay, I'll do it. Happy's Bluff. I knew I wanted to visit Beachtown. I got my friends to help me plan the trip, and I got to take them along for the ride. And what made it all possible? Trippy. It's the new way to travel. Happy's Bluff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much. Too much. Too much information. But there we go. I really like this. Yeah. And, and, I and thought the, you would. And the, and the reason is that. Uh, it's your friends who know your taste mm -hmm. and know things that you would find, you know, particularly interesting. That's where you're getting the recommendation from. Yeah. As opposed to strangers. And the strangers might be, you know, very well intentioned, mm -hmm. but, but just kind of realize, but they may not know that you're not particularly, uh, you know, interested. interested in this. Exactly. I like the beginning of that. And she says, okay, I'm searching for this and I'm on the internet and I still know nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I feel like because I've been there. Because you've got yeah. too much information. Too much, too much information. information yeah. And, and, uh, and all these competing uh, commercial links that, uh, you know, kind of have their own, kind of have their, have their own agenda. And then the other thing is how you can close the circle. And while you're there with your smartphone, go ahead, take a picture of it, and kind of kind of pay back yeah. to your friends that, uh, that gave you that, that information. What a great app. Yeah. And guess what? It's free. I'm well, you've got the price point. Yeah, it's it's a great <laughs> price point. Let me just confirm because I said that without uh, confirming. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is free. I, I don't know why I second guess myself there. I've been trying to pick free apps. So this is a free uh, app. Uh, check it out for your iOS device. Trippy, T-R-I-P-P-Y. -P -P -Y. We will have the information in the show notes. And that's our travel app of the day. That's the travel app of the day. That is really, really good. And I tell you, e each day, it's a good thing we got fast Wi-Fi here in, in the <laughs> Because you've got all these new apps. I can go ahead and add these apps just uh, <laughs> almost in the time that we're watching them. Except this one. It was so interesting that, that I was really watching as much as, as, as listening to, uh, to what was going on. Yeah, it was a very, very good video. Yeah. You know, we want to talk about uh, maybe if, if, you've, if you're on Trippy, you've planned a trip, and you're tripping uh, on your trip, and you need to work on your trip. That, is it that, that's <laughs> getting there that's getting I, that there. was As really bad you know sometimes when you're <laughs> traveling it's necessary to check in at the office and a perfect way to do that is to use go to meeting uh, which enables you to uh, meet wherever you are uh, to join a business meeting for an hour or two and then go back to the beach or whatever your uh, your activities might uh, uh, might include but uh, go to meeting is the app that uh, not only allows you uh, to share documents, to uh, show the desktop from one place to another, but also when you add the camera option in to be able to uh, see the expressions of people uh, that are in the meeting. And of course, if uh, someone, uh, their battery runs down on their laptop or uh, they need to, to, to uh, go to, to meet a, a ferry boat or, or something, whatever reason, they can drop off the meeting and then rejoin uh, through their telephone or through their uh, tablet, their you know their iPad, uh, and uh, participate in the meeting as well. A lot of flexibility, 
and a great price because you pay one fee per month and you can have as many meetings as you want for as long as you need each time. And if you go to GoToMeeting.com and click on the Try It Free button, you can get a free 30-day trial of GoToMeeting. Just use the code PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. GoToMeeting, uh, a very affordable product that makes uh, online meetings easy. It absolutely does. And something else that we've made easy for you is creating something called Geocache Radar. And we tested it out last night during our Geocaching World meet and greet. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got some really good response. And I think uh, that was uh, really interesting because we hadn't, w I mean, we, they probably have seen it in postings. Yeah, yes. But not a direct response. I have a chance, yeah. have a chance to, to see that. And, of course, the idea is to... Um, um, Geocaching is such a great RV family hobby because you can dial it up or dial it back. You, uh, these things are rated as far as difficulty and terrain, uh, which means that if you've got uh, uh, grade school age kids, seven, eight years old, that you might want to choose some terrain that uh, doesn't require repelling and scuba gear and, and so forth. Uh, if you're you know, in, your, in your 20s and adventuresome and so forth, you can dial it right up and go for the really challenging uh, uh, targets. And so what we try and do each day is to pick out an area of the country and uh, kind of see what's, what's going on in that uh, neck of the woods, so to speak, uh, and also what interesting geocache you might find. So here's one of them. Hey, it's Geocache Radar, episode GCRD 105-3. Today's cache in the northeast near Wyndham, Maine. While in the Wyndham area, you could seek out the adventure-bound family activities for ropes or rafting. You could stop by a portion of the Appalachian Trail at the Minnenocket Lodge. Or you could check out the Black Brook Preserve, Wyndham Trust property, home of the Beavers. All with an easy driving distance of today's cache. Today's cache is number GC347K1. It's the Black Brook Preserve Cache. It's part of the Great Wyndham Geocaching Game. Approximate location, north 43 degrees, 47 minutes, west 70 degrees, 24 minutes. And we remind you to do take a wooden nickel. There's an encrypted clue in the full details on geocaching.com, the official global GPS geocache hunt site. For show notes on this cache, go to rvnewsnet.com forward slash geocache radar. Information is believed to be valid at the time of production, but conditions may change. Use common sense and caution and do not trespass. Keep geocaching a fun and family RV activity. Geocache Radar is a production of RV Newsnet and RVNN TV and is a member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. And I love that one photograph where the beavers at work, you know. And, and it turns out that that um, uh, particular uh, forest preserve there is apparently has never been settled, it's never been cultivated, and uh, so it's just like it was in, you know, in, uh, in 1812 and 1712 and 1612, and uh, so it would be Very a cool. pretty neat place to uh, go out and go geocaching. You're having some fun putting these together. You're you're yeah. getting some history lessons. It, it is, and and there are just so many interesting places, and of course, you know, RVs just the absolute uh, ideal way to set up a base camp, and then uh, you know, with kind of all the comforts of home, and then uh, go out hiking or mountain biking or whatever. Uh, to uh, track those geocaches down. Absolutely. Well, I think that about wraps it for today. And uh, we hope that the groundhog is kind. We'll see. Or its shadow is kind. Its shadow is, is kind. Five o'clock uh, here on Friday. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks very much for joining us today. We will uh, We'll see you on Friday. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad.